Hello there and welcome back to Cory Loses, where today we are once again continuing our Fall of the Republic playthrough as the Galactic Republic. I, I almost said preview playthrough, but the mod's out. So, uh, in the first episode, we took a few attacks in the core area. So we took Barlock, we took Vulter, and we also attacked at Forost. Uh, so we have space over Forost controlled. And we are probably going to head in with all of our ground forces from Vulter before splitting them up and trying to organize our fleet a bit differently. Like uh, we're starting to get some attacks because we did put it on Cruel at the end of last episode. Uh, so, again, I've never played on Cruel in Fall of the Republic before, so I don't know exactly how this is going to go for us. Uh, so we'll see. Could be good. Could be painful. Either way, uh, we, we're gonna lose. But, uh, but yeah, so, we've been getting a bit of feedback, uh, from the first few days. There's actually, after I record this episode, which will probably go up right afterwards, uh, there's gonna be a team meeting going on talking about the... Uh, the next goals for both Ron's Revenge, Fall of the Republic, and a little bit about Ascendancy as well. Uh, and yeah, so there are a few things that we want to focus on sooner than later. Uh, like we said with the release, there's still a lot to be done. Uh, and a lot we plan to do. So, hope you guys have been enjoying the first build here. Uh, feedback has been pretty damn positive so far, which is nice. But uh, especially with uh, space combat in both mods, which hasn't had like a complete structural overhaul for a while, uh, especially for stuff like pacing and different classes, we're going to be uh, looking to refine a lot of that. So that uh, weapon effects, all those kinds of things are going to be a big focus going forward. But let's see what we can do. Get you back there. It's gonna be difficult to win this bat. Like we're we're not gonna get much done here, but killing the recusant would be nice. So if we can try to build up the ground defenses on Rathana and Camino. That might be our only hope of keeping anything in this side of the of the galaxy. Um, you're not actually taking that much fire right now, so let's try to get there. And here we go. We're also going to be doing what we can to improve galactic performance. Uh, we only have so much control there, but we can. We're trying to like play around with like how active units are and some other stuff in the background that will hopefully give people uh, a few more frames on lower end CPUs. But at the same time, like it, there's only so much we can do there. So it'll be more about, uh, like people will still advise to play smaller maps if they're getting more lag than they're comfortable with. But, uh, but yeah, so I think we're just gonna auto resolve now. I don't think we're gonna get anything else into this battle. Uh, maybe if we go over here and Alderaan is going to get invaded. So let's send the Kuat flee over and we are going to invade with Plukum because I want to use the wolf pack. Uh, I don't I don't remember the Legion number. So I just call it the wolf pack, even though that's a very specific one. This meeting is by design. Which one is it? It is 104th. Okay. Reinforcements. Our meeting must be the will of the force. Juggernaut. Atte. Um. I'll bring Anakin down as well for the crush ability. Uh, the Ada two model has actually been. 
uh, updated. So the, the model is really old. The model was actually pretty good. So uh, we've actually just retextured it. So Bob was working on the texture for that over the weekend. So the next update should have redone Ada's. And one problem that people have been running into is that uh, the retreat, like the, the self-destruct explosion that happens when you retreat from a station can kill your uh, Jedi Starfighter heroes. So that's something that's on our radar now. It didn't really come up in testing, which is why it is how it is. But now that we have that feedback, don't worry, it will be, it will be dealt with. All right, you guys go through there. And let's get the juggernaut up to here. Did you mean mine or yours? Surrender! I won't tell you again. All right, Anakin, force crush there, buddy. Force crush there, buddy. No. Oh no. Anakin is stuck. All right, let's rush him. Protect Anakin. Uh, it's gonna be a mad dash to protect Anakin now. We're not sure why the freezing sometimes happens, but that is another thing that's on the radar. Alright, uh... We should be able to save him. Greetings, my old friend. Can't force protect. Target locked. Come on. Targets engaged. I don't have a lot of patience. I will stop you. The Jedi Council is fortunate to have you as a member. Concentrate on the moment. Dooku taught you how to fight, Shouldn't but he did not angry. teach you how to win. Don't test me! Shouldn't have made me angry! Alright. I'm not sure if it's because of the attack style that he uses, or that the Jedi use, that lets them be useful as melee units. We may have to switch it to just being like uh, a hard point that does damage, which isn't quite as good because it doesn't, uh, there's no like gap closer there, but right, there's still one attacking it. We sacrificed some vehicles for it, but Anakin is, is living. All right. There was enough stuff distracting from him. Uh, but yeah, so we basically made the uh, the berserk ability that Yoda has in the base game uh, into a into the regular Jedi attack. Because otherwise, melee units in Empire War tend to get just super kited, 
which is annoying to deal with. Uh, but it does seem like one of the side effects of that... Uh, we've used it for a long time in Thrawn's Revenge, but Jedi heroes just aren't as common. Uh, but one of the side effects does seem to be that... Uh, even when there's nothing for them to get stuck in, they just end up stuck on something. Well, you say you're... Is it better being stuck here than at the command center? I don't know. Let's bring some PDFs in. Get the 501st. Alright. We need to deal with the, the structures because we're just going to keep getting reinforcements. drop you all out. Okay, we win. Thanks, Techno Union. Get out of here. Two heavy vehicles, but kept Anakin alive. Planetary control achieved. Okay. Still coming in. Mon Calamari. And our fleet got to Rishi. Looks like the cloud texture has a scene there. Oh no, shit, there's actually two planet models here. That's not good. One of them needs to be deleted. Yeah, one is just shifted down slightly. Okay. Another one. Looks nice, but... Oh well. Choose your reinforcements. Okay, so we have the acclimator. They're, well, they're gonna come to us, so. Let's see what the LAC. And we can put the Pelta support ship in the back there. Carrier, carrier, then Clintons as well. There's actually not many fighters they have still. Uh, get up there. This is the support one. So. We can kill the hard cells before the rest of the units are even here. But yeah, the uh, the monster mash today, which is what we have lovingly dubbed our team meetings now. Uh, we're going to be talking about uh, a little bit about content, but mostly about stuff like uh, broader goals for the mod. So, which areas are going to be our priorities in the near future? Um, I think a lot of that will come down to uh, deciding focuses for things like the space balancing. Um, which bits of ground combat we'll focus on for the reworks next, uh, which effects we'll focus on next, which uh, units need to be focused on. I do want to talk a little bit about uh, making the mods work together a little bit better, uh, or making it so that it's not quite as messy to switch between them for development purposes, because both Thrawn's Revenge, oh shit, Thrawn's Revenge and Fall of the Republic are both built off of the same set of files. Ooh, we need to get the Pelta actually in range. Heal. And you as well. I'm going to try to bring some of these closer together. Alright, you get up there a little bit. And you. And you get in there. Argotens are all fine. I'm going to get them all to focus down that one. You are just out of range. Okay, let's get up there now. Same with you. Nope. Okay, fine. Just get back here then. Okay. 
Alright, stop there. Well, actually, try to get in behind, because they're starting to shoot at you now. Our weapons. Alright, uh, this is kind of in the danger zone now. Nope, don't go so... whatever. All right, so it's just the just the dreadnoughts now. We were a bit worried that uh, repair ships wouldn't be able to do enough, but so far I've found them fairly useful. This one is the one being focused by right now, though, so... Because we were holding off on fleet tenders before there were some other functions. The need for interdiction in Fall of the Republic was a big reason why they were put in when they were. Uh, but they seem to have been a good one. Or been a good addition, even aside from interdiction, so... We're pretty happy with that. All right, uh, let's get the engines first. All right, they're probably going to retreat soon, so I do want to take down the engines on this one. Uh, I if they retreat after the engines are done, there's no reason to deploy the interdiction. Uh, just saves us some time. All right, and. Arquitans. There's one. And now, okay. See, I could interdict them just to be a dick, but you know what? I am going to do it. Thank you, self heal. All right. GG Commerce Guild. Lost a carrier, lost an Arquitens, but killed a bunch of their shit. Which doesn't impact the main CIS. Let's see how they've been. I think this is when Cruel started going on. Uh. Who? Beginning construction. Uh, if this retreats, it's probably going to go to Kashyyyk, which is nice. Um, well, hmm. I don't think we're going to be able to defend, even with the level 3. Maybe, 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 maybe. Let's try to hold these back. Alright, uh... CR-90 in there. Let's see if we can kill the bombers. The 95s, you're on that as well. Torrents, stay over here. Okay, we need to kill the diamond first. Everyone's very excited. Alright, bombers. 
Head up back there. I'm gonna send one LAC back there, one here. That. Okay, and by the time these get in range, it should be good. There were some questions on either a previous stream or the last episode about the coloring on the Lucre Hulks. So the coloring matches the sub faction. Uh, it's not about the uh, the main CIS one. The Recusants don't use team coloring. Uh, the Lucre Hulks do. Uh, so that's why the Recusants are blue. With the yeah, I, yeah, I think we gotta go. That's why the Recusants are blue. Uh, well, the Lucre Hawks match the faction, the sub factions. All right. So, Rip Mon Calamari. Okay, we we kept all the units, so that's something. I am going to just try to build... If we lose that, then whatever. But if we can hold the planet with that money, never mind. It's going to happen now. Hmm. Yeah, this seems unlikely. So thanks, Commerce Guild. Uh, Dathomir was still independent. That's nice. Where? How are they coming in towards Alderaan? Construction complete. Maybe they had. They might have sent that before. Uh, before we took Vaulter, because it would still have corruption. Need to stockpile credit sale, and then we got bolstering support. It wants Bimisari, which is over here. Uh, so probably not something we can do right away, because I don't want to open up Boz Pity getting to Bimisari. Uh, so we'll hold off on that. But Rathana... I'm going to try to send some vehicles over to Kamino. Construction complete. Construction complete. And I'll send some clones back to Rathana. Construction or I'll send them to Rishi. Construction complete. Um, we'll get another one of those, two of those. And we'll get a heavy vehicle factory there. That Delta Squad is here, so that's nice. We might be able to expand some of this territory, but I don't know how effectively. And this fleet is going to return to Kua. And we'll leave this one at Vaulter. Taking Fondor would be a good idea as well. So I'll, I'll try to work up towards that too. But I want to make sure we're not overextending. That's going to be kind of important for this playthrough. Uh, Empress Tita. Alright. For that ground force, I'm going to split up our heroes a bit. Enemy fleet approaching. So you and you, you and you, and I'll keep you guys. I'm basically just trying to keep them in. in the vicinity. Being Rishi. I'm trying to keep them in fleets that will. Uh... Arrival imminent construction. Or companies that'll have uh, eh, the different Legion skins. Complete. Sorry, that took forever to get out. Construction complete. Receiving location. All right, we have a bit more money. Um, so let's get Jax's chariot. 327 Spain, Baby Star Destroyer, and for the Republic, I mean Empire. Ooh, nice. And I have an interdictor here. This is going to be... 
This is perfect. That was probably stuff that had been sent through before. Because this, yeah, this is the banking clan. We are going to try to... I believe one of the things Bob has talked about is trying to make it so the... Uh, so the CIS sub-factions don't see corruption as a valid way to attack. Because the banking clan is way to the north, but as far as the corruption AI works in Empire War, uh, our corruption-based perceptions... There, if you have a path through corruption to places, it'll still go to it. Um, so that's where a lot of the weirdness with those factions ends up coming from. Because, like, the... Uh, so what happened here is essentially the banking clan saw a way through with, enemy, with their allied fleets and then just weren't able to actually make it all the way. Now we can just murder all of these ground troops. It doesn't matter where you run, there's an interdictor here. You can't actually get anywhere. Dead. This one's next. Well, that's flying towards our stuff, so... Here we go. Here they come. <laughs> Seen the last Let's Play we did, there was a bug where they couldn't be targeted, so anything like this wouldn't have been doable. Progress has been made. <laughs> They're trying to escape out this way and shepherd them back in. flying through there. Oh man, that was so close to being dead. I've got to get through the shields again. There we go. Got him. <laughs> Interdictors are nice. Sucks to suck, or er, banking clan. All right, well, I think that's actually going to do it for this episode. So I hope you guys are enjoying the playthrough so far. Uh, next episode, Fondor will probably be our target. Uh, if we can also get, like, Telti or something. Um, kind of close in on some of this Trade Federation territory before our judicial forces get eaten too much, then that'd be nice. But... Thanks again for watching. Hope you're enjoying not just the playthrough, but the mod as well. And I uh, hope to see you next time. Bye, everyone.